All right, that kind of takes us through apply stamp. Now let's do the sign and, and, and seal. Let's close this. Again, batch, sign and seal. Kind of our very similar kind of um, item, but what I really want to do this is through uh, Studio Projects. So let's go into Studio Projects. I've got a project in there, and I want to use it on this thing called Bluebeam Demo. I've got a file called Anna2, and what I have to do is I have I have to check it out. So, and for those of you not familiar, you have to right click here, and I have to check out. It will go down here in this pending. Now I can open it. Do I want to do the side by side? No, I don't need to do the side by side. I want to see a little more real estate space. All right, now it is it is the the file here is in the cloud. I've now checked it out and brought it into my local cache, which then allows me now to do the batch. And I think it was sign and seal is what I wanted to do. Notice here under add, oh, uh, it's already added it. Excuse me, it's already added it. I could save and do that load. You already know how to do all of that. Here, this comes up a little different, comes on the side to give you a better uh, a better kind of preview. And so there's, there's really three elements to here, the digital signature. For those of you unfamiliar, digital signature allows you to digitally sign something with a digital ID. Uh, it allows you to, to uh, create some reasons why that you, you're the author, review, you approve, so on and so forth, gives you those options. You can give a location where you're at, contact, uh, your contact information, what kind of text you might want to put in there. There's also dates in which you then add the date. And you can also add a seal. All right. So there's a whole bunch. And these are, are not too hard to move. So let's show you how I can do that. <clears throat> 